Hi, this is Mike from the Excel Trainer, and this is the second video in my basic formula series. In this spreadsheet, I'm calculating the cost of a new mobile phone contract. I get 120 free minutes included, uh, and I estimate that I will use about 200 minutes per month. The cost per minute is 10 pence. Also in the deal, I get uh, 100 free text messages per month, but I estimate that I will use or send 300 texts in a month. The cost per text is 5 pence. To calculate the cost per month, I'm going to calculate the cost of the voice, calculate the cost of the text messages, and then the overall cost. Up here, I'll put my formula in. Start off with an equal sign, and it will be B5, which is the minutes used, minus B4, which is the included minutes. That will give me how many minutes I have to pay for, multiplied by B6, cost per minute. Similar formula over here, equals... B12, which is the number of text messages I will send in a month, minus B11, which is the number of uh, free messages I get, and that will tell me how, mes how many messages I have to pay for, multiplied by B13, which is the cost per message. Then add the two figures up, that will be B7 plus B14. So I look at that and it's telling me that it's going to cost almost £500 per month for my mobile phone. And I know, just looking at those figures, there's absolutely no way that can be true. So there is something wrong with the formula. And what is wrong with the formula is the way Excel works. Excel uses the normal mathematical order of operations, which is uh, to do division, then multiplication, and then addition, and then subtraction. So what it's doing here is actually taking B4 multiplied by uh, B6, which is 120 multiplied by 10, and subtracting that from B5, which is 200. On this one, it's multiplying B11 and B13 together and subtracting the result of that from B12. To correct it, what I need to do is go up to this formula and I need to put brackets or parentheses, depending where you are in the world, around this bit of the formula here, between there and there. So what we're saying there is we're saying B5 minus B4, take the result of that and multiply it by B6. Very, very different result. Put brackets around here as well. B12 minus B11. Do that part of the calculation first and multiply that by B13. And that is a more realistic result. So whenever you do a calculation, if you have brackets in the calculation, it does that bit first. Then it does division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. And there's a way to remember that, which is BODMAS. Bracket order, divide, multiply, add, subtract. If you are in America, and maybe certain other parts of the world where you don't use the word brackets, you use parentheses, then it's parentheses, divide, multiply, add, subtract. And it's PEDMAS is the way to remember that.